This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today we're singing out yet another video review. This time taking, <coughs> excuse me, a look at an application called Big Business HD. It's on my uh, springboard right there, ready to go, and it means business. This application is put out by one of our favorite studios, which is actually called Game Insight. We like Game Insight quite a bit because they've uh, basically stuck to the same genre and have been uh, consistently pumping out incredible games within it. What we're talking about is the micromanagement genre, and that's a genre that we're particularly fond of, especially when it's produced by Game Insight. So we're just going to go ahead and boot this straight up and kind of show you how everything works. Uh, thanks. So essentially this is a uh, the sort of application um, where I've just completed a bunch of quests and I didn't mean to do that. That's the kind of application it is. Uh, basically the application is designed as a uh, sort of micromanagement title where you start with a very small plot of land and a single few, uh, you know, a, a couple of buildings to manage with. Um, and then you, you slowly build more units, you gain ground. Um, you accrue some wealth, you build even more units, uh, so on and so forth. You upgrade the ones you've got going until eventually, um, you know, you've got, uh, you've got a raging uh, business empire, I guess is a good way to put that. And that's what we're currently working on. As you can see, I'm just clicking some of my buildings to uh, gather the resources that they've afforded me. So for instance, I want to sell this flower so I can go in here and sell. Now it's been sold. I've got some sugar cane lingering around. Um, so of course you're starting slow. You're starting low at the low on the totem pole. You've got agricultural stuff going on, and um, we're just going to say this right off the bat. This is perhaps one of the best micromanagement games the Game Insight has yet to put out, with a very specific reason behind that. This uh, application has been um, so well thought out because of the history and experience that's been put into it uh, by the developers. That um, I, I guess the best way to put it is that. Um, it's just refined to a scary level, I guess is a good way to say it. And what we mean by that is the fact that uh, the game itself comes with a literal ton of units. For instance, you can go to the shop and check out all the various things you have to manage. You've got housing for your population. You've got actual production facilities, um, entertainment facilities for your population, service buildings, whatever, as well as, you know, the ubiquitous trees and whatnot that you have to deal with, um, special buildings, etc., etc. All of this needs to be managed to successfully run a business and run a town, um, which is nothing new, but the, the variety and the number that's been included here is absolutely pitch perfect, and that's sort of a small difference that we can't really explain to you um, in, in the way that it needs to be, which means that instead the best way to simply uh, experience it is to experience it. So get out there and uh, give it a go. Um, because that will become pretty apparent uh, just how much thought has been put into the actual production of this app. You get the same kind of micromanagement stuff that you're used to. So for instance, if you're upgrading a farm, um, you can speed this up, uh, spend a little bit of money to get that done, get reward, etc., etc. Go in, um, you know, you've got updated uh, information, new things that you can produce. I'm producing fruit now. I'm going to do the same for this one. Same sort of stock micromanagement stuff that uh, we're assuming you're used to. Uh, so we're going to kind of skim over a lot of this. Um, just because, you know, we're assuming you're familiar with the genre. Um, one interesting thing that you might be noticing is that I'm nearly constantly heading stuff, um, which is a unique change for Game Insight, but it's an extremely pleasant one, and that's because the pace of this game has more or less been fixed. That means that the game itself um, is pitch perfect in terms of uh, your involvement. You will very rarely be sitting around just waiting for something to be produced, um, there's nearly always something that you can be collecting, something you can be building, something you can be expanding, whatever. Um, not to mention the wealth of quests that I've got going on over here. I mean, I could just flick through all of those. You've also got a uh, boost, which is a unique uh, aspect of the game. You've got bonuses that increase uh, or otherwise enhance your gameplay experience um, off the bat there, uh, which is something that we enjoy quite a bit. Um, I'm going to produce some more flour. Um, in the same way that it's sort of like a, a buff on World of Warcraft or something like that. So, um, graphics pretty standard for the development studio from whence it came. Uh, very busy. It's a lot busier than usually um, these apps are, but we are not complaining at all about that. Um, you know, aside from that, we've talked about the number of contracts, models, modes, whatever, everything else that's included here. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we don't really have much to complain about with this application. And, uh, you know, just to throw this out there, it's got all of the social interaction that you could want. It's got a blog, gifts, ratings, whatever. 
um, and uh, all of the content is completely free. You will not have to pay a dime to actually play this game, though you can, of course, via in-app purchase, uh, say, flesh it out with some more material. Um, you're not going to really need to do that um, unless you just really enjoy the game and want to sort of contribute to the developers and then, uh, you know, gain some ground. Um, you're not going to have to, which means that the game is extremely fun, very easy to pick up on, very fun um, in the long run to play, and it's completely free. So, you know, at the end of the day, what does all that add up to, all of that uh, hefty praise? It means that the application gets a 4 out of 5, uh, excuse me, 4.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. Again, it's a 4.5 out of 5 for the application, and uh, it is still probably our favorite game inside game to date. Um, and that's pretty hefty praise coming from us, we have to say. So, uh, anyway, that is the full wrap-up that we have for you at this point, and I'm going to go ahead and sign out and probably continue to play a bit more. Um, so I will see you guys later. Bye.